Hey, it's Kay. Welcome or welcome back to another YouTube video. I'm in serious need of relaxation. I'm in serious need of fixing my skin. Because go ahead, go ahead, peep it. Do you see this? Y'all know my skin was not looking like this before. Oh, let me tell you, I was using some new products. <laughs> Broke me out but before we get into that make sure you like comment and subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell and let's get into the video all right y'all so let's go ahead and get into the skincare because my skin has been going through it for the past i say about like week now probably like a week and a half because now I'm not trying to get nobody to hate me or like no brands to hate me or anything like that. I do hate to break it to ya, but just for me at least, just for me, the Bioma skincare broke me out like crazy. Now, I was looking on TikTok because, you know, it was like a cheaper alternative to what I usually use. I was like, well, my skin is starting to break out like crazy. Maybe my skin is purging. Mm, I not that type of girl. I'm not like a skin purge. So like whenever I see like spots, dots, pimples, anything, it kind of like freaks me out. And I kind of want to get it fixed immediately. And nowhere does it say Bioma breaks anybody out. So I was like, dang, like, is it just me? <laughs> Am I the odd one out? And that's why I have a whole bunch of dark spots now, like extra dark spots than I had before because my face, what it tends to do, even if I pop a pimple or I don't pop a pimple, don't matter what I do, I'm gonna get a dark spot. Like, I didn't even touch this dark spot. Exactly. On the camera, I do have the beauty filter off so you guys can see all this stuff <laughs> on my face. I will usually keep it on because I am a little insecure, but I'm trying to get, like, I'm, I want us to be close. I want me and you to be close. We gonna be like this. And then I want you to see the transformation of my skin because like I said in my last video, one thing about me, I'm gonna fade my dark spots and I will. And you guys are gonna see what I do to fade it. So what we gonna do to go ahead and kick off this skincare is we're gonna wash my face. And that's what I do every time I like, regardless if I'm doing my skincare routine or if I'm just trying to do like a maintenance routine, I'm going to wash my face first because it clears all the stuff that's off of my face. And if I wanna like do anything else, it's a base. So I'm gonna have to figure out what the ingredients were in the products that I was using because they're not my skin type friendly. <laughs> are not my skin friendly which was weird because everyone can use Bioma so I don't know maybe it was just one product I have no clue but all I know is it was probably the cleanser to be honest with you I don't know oh well rest in peace I definitely forgot to say the next thing I'm about to do so while I'm doing it I'm gonna wash my lashes I'm about to go on a break for my lashes and I'm so hurt about it because I have my hair's not done, my nails aren't done, and then my lashes are gonna be gone. Oof. I'm gonna be bald. I'm gonna be a natural queen. <laughs> I've been natural like this since my junior year of high school, so. Because I started getting my nails done in senior year, so. Y'all, my monthly maintenance was so expensive every month, and I'm talking about how I would spend it was my nails was 100, my lashes was 50 because I would get fill in, so I'll get twice, so basically 100 plus tip. And then my hair was like 230, so monthly I was spending cash plus with my car note. It's just not really like handling my money the way I should have been, and now I am jobless, <laughs> so I have to handle my money properly. So y'all know how I like to let my lashes air dry for a little bit before I actually like, you know, dry them out, but I feel like they should just go ahead and be dried now because they're not gonna get no more volum voluminous than this. So what I usually like to do is I will let my eyelashes dry throughout my entire like skincare routine and then 
at the end of it I'll start drying my lashes and it'll be like like a little blowout like a little you know roof a little fluffy I don't got that many lashes this time so we're just gonna go ahead and dry her all right y'all I am so sorry but I need to sit down I went to the gym today it was leg day my legs hurt I am tired so to continue on with our relaxation I'm gonna sit down now I think the first thing I'm gonna start off with really so my skin can have time to calm back down from it is I don't wax my face I have a mustache if you can't see it I have a mustache so she has to go away so what I usually use is the flamingo face kit but went to CVS they didn't have it and just for me to go through a weird experience in CVS you would think they would have it so this is the nads natural face wax strips it comes with the wax strips and it comes with an oil afterwards but what I like about the flamingo is it's about the same price and it comes with wax strips because how many wax strips comes in this well okay this comes with 30 wax strips and then the post wax oil this one comes with 20 ready to use wax strips and then it comes with post wax cloths about eight of them and then there's one calming serum so if your face is red or if it's like irritated you can put on the calming serum right after you use the wipes so but it doesn't come in this but i will be using this all right so for always the first wax <laughs> i'm so scared <laughs> but we can make it through i'm used to waxing my mustache i'm used to waxing her so why am I scared? Why am I, why am I scared? Why am I actually scared? I mean, whatever. And she's on my mouth. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Ugh. And then I have wax on my mouth. Oh my God. <laughs> that wasn't too bad though. It got off a lot. <laughs> oh my gosh. It got off a lot. Okay, I'm not doubting this. So I know a lot of people usually like put the oil on their face and they like do the microblading and stuff like that. I'm scared of that. One, I have acne prone skin and right now really, it's just not the best time for me to do it on my skin. But for my mustache, I'm scared that thing gonna grow back thicker. We're trying to get her gone. We're trying to get her so thin that she don't even think about coming back. Definitely with wax strips, you don't want to keep going over the same spot, but there's this little patch that is stubborn. Because there was one time that I was using like face wax and I guess I did it in one spot way too many times and it ripped up my skin. So I'm not trying to do that, but I'm trying to make sure everything is gone. I don't want to do it too many times though, but I'm still seeing some hair. Mm. I think I'm gonna try one more like pull of a strip, like one more of these and then I'll be done because I don't want to do too much to right there. Like I really don't want it to like rip up my skin around my lips. So we're gonna try one more. And if it's not lifted, then I'm just gonna have a mustache. I'm, I'm just, I don't wanna do too much. Okay. All right, I'm done with all that waxing. See those lines? Those are the ones that I'm scared about because that's what they looked like last time. So, hmm. I'm a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm a little nervous. But yeah, and I don't know how I feel about these like, mm -hmm. I do not know how I feel about these wax strips because they did not really get up everything, but I feel like it got up my lip. So I'm gonna put some of the calming serum on because she needs to calm down. She looked too red for my liking. She needs to calm down. There we go. 
I'm already dealing with the dark spots. So don't want dark lines either. All right, now to move on to the dark spot point of this video, because this is really the point of the entire video. So I just got it and apparently, apparently it's supposed to be really good for acne, getting rid of dark spots, like really brightening and clearing your skin. So, and also calming your skin. So what I got is the Peach Slices Snail Rescue Wash Off Jelly Mask. I don't know. I've been trying to get into the snail mucin and stuff. So it says apply to clean skin, relax for 15 minutes, rinse off thoroughly with water, follow up with the rest of the routine. Okay. It's an intensive wash off jelly mask with 95% snail mucin concentrate. Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate. Because I am using the Coors, um, Cor Cor X stuff, like the mini version of it, so. Maybe snail mucin is the key to getting rid of my dark spots. I went and got my belief spatula because I do not want to just dig my hands up in here. Maybe I'm gonna have to, it's not trying to come out. Oh my gosh. Well, that's a fun feeling. <laughs> okay. Oh, that is cooling. That is cooling. Hmm. I think I might actually like this already. All right, so it's set to wait about 15 minutes, so that's what I'm going to do. I don't really have nothing that I can really do while it's working. I'm gonna go chill for about 15 minutes and then I will come back. All right, so I washed her off and she was very hard to wash off. No. Do I appear brighter? Nah, I'm not even gonna lie. I do see like my skin is a little bit brightened. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gua sha on my face. And what I'm gonna use is this oil. I'm gonna use my Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Face Oil. And then I take my Mount Lay, 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 Rose Court Gua Sha. So what I'm gonna do is pat some oil into my skin and it'll help it glide. Basically, a gua sha is just to help with blood flow. It helps sculpt the face. If you do it often, it will actually help sculpt your face. If you do it around your nose, it helps with congestion. But what I like to do is I like to take it 15 times this way and then you move it and 15 times that way and then like probably like 10, 10 and then push up. So like this. This actually feels really good. So the next thing I'm gonna use is my Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream from Kors. I can't say the brand, I am so sorry. It's the Korean, like the K-Beauty type skincare. This is the Snail Mucin. I use the Essence every other day and I used it yesterday, so obviously I'm not gonna use it today but I do use this every day. And then I use this, if I'm gonna use it during the day, I put a sunscreen on top of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just put a little bit on my hand. And like, you can already tell. Hold up, hold up. You can, you can already tell. This stuff will get your skin right. But like I said, I'm still using it, so I don't wanna you know. All right, so I'm not gonna try to get it on this area. You're gonna see why in just a minute, but I don't want her to have anything on it. All right, to follow up with my moisturizer, I'm gonna put on the Advanced Snail Peptide Eye Cream. All in a little bottle, cause I am still trying this out. I don't know why it's not focusing. I'm not gonna lie, I do actually really like this eye cream. It's a little like sticky consistency, but I actually really like it because it doesn't do anything weird to my eyes. So I use a couple different eye creams and my eyes don't like them. It makes it gooky and it makes it kind of feel like my eyes are about to start to have pink eye and I don't like that. So this one doesn't do that though. It's my under eyes actually brighter so last but not least and i'm gonna tell you this right now 
Go ahead and get this. Go ahead and get this. If you want your dark spots gone, these two are the way to go. Now you might be like, oh, Mighty Patch, like dark spot patches. What are you talking? This is a micro point dark spot patch. So it actually gets in there. And I use this throughout the week and I make sure I keep it on for the full time because this really does help with my dark spots. I don't know what it is about hero and dark spots, but they got it down packed. They got it. So basically what it is, it's just kind of like a pimple patch. You just stick it on and hold it down for a couple seconds and then it just go and you keep it on. Especially with these, you're supposed to wait two to three days in between uses so you can get an actual full effect. So you're not putting the same stuff in your skin every day, you know, so it can actually work. Can you tell the difference? That's basically it because these are gonna have to sit for about six to eight hours. So that's basically it for this routine. I am relaxed, I am calm, and I'm about to go lay down. But thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you really, really enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you give it a like, make sure you give it a comment, make sure you hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> I'll see y'all.